everyone, welcome back to my copy trading journey where today we are checking out the Trojan bot. Now this bot is something I was not using before, but with the announcement of an airdrop coming to Trojan bot users in the future, I thought it was incredibly smart to move my funds over and start trading with the Trojan bot. If you guys want to check this out for yourself, I will leave a referral link down in the description. If you use it, I would really appreciate that. And make sure you start farming in Trojan Bot to get that airdrop when it does happen. Even if you're doing one soul's worth of trading volume per day, that can really, really stack up. So click that link. I'd appreciate it. And without further ado, let's jump into what I am using Trojan Bot for. As you can probably tell via my name, this is my copy trading journey. So I primarily use Trojan Bots for the copy trade function. Something I instantly want to bring up, no matter what you are doing in Trojan Bot, throughout the day, make sure you click menu, go to slash backup, and look in the server. See which one is green and use those ones. So as you can see, uh, you do not want to be using Achilles. You want to be using uh, Minilos. I'm not too sure how you say it. Or Helenus here. I am using Helenus right now. These will change sporadically throughout the day. So make sure you are keeping up with the green servers. Otherwise, you will have some slightly slower times. Now, with that done, we can close that. Let's first go ahead and jump into the settings of the copy trading bot here because you want to set all of this up before you actually start having the trades happen. So let's click settings. And these are the settings that I personally use. Now, let's go top to bottom. So right here, this is just changing your language. Obviously, I speak English, as you can tell. So I'm keeping that on English. When it comes to fast turbo or what you will see as custom fee, let's just go in and click on this. You can see that fast is defaulting to 0.0015 soul. Turbo is defaulting to 0.0075. And this button right here is a custom uh, gas fee, a custom bribe fee. Now, from my days over on Magnum, I felt that 0.01 was perfect for copy trading because it got me into the trades very, very, very quickly. And it got me out of the trades very quickly as well. So you can definitely mess around with this to see what fits you. 0.01 fits me. I know it kind of is a lot, but as long as I'm making a lot, which currently I am, this isn't that big of a deal. But otherwise, if you don't think you want to do this, just set turbo and you should be good. Quickly skipping down though, if you do happen to have, let's click on this. If you have 50 soul in your wallet, you can use bolt. And if you have 50 soul, click this. You need to have this turned on if you have that amount of soul. That's what I'm working towards. Hopefully in a video in the future, you will see me using this and uh, showing how, how really, really cool it is. So after you're done with your fees here, let's go ahead and click buy settings. There are my settings, but I don't really use this personally. Now, sell settings I do use because oftentimes when I'm copy trading, I will want to sell before the person I'm copy trading sells themselves for a lot of reasons. And I can get into that in a different video if you'd like me to. So for me, I just have 50% and 100% and my sell slippage is at 35% because I'm getting in very, very new coins that have a lot of volatility, even in crypto standards. So I wanna have my slippage slightly high. Again, make sure you know what you're doing with your slippage and set this to your own risk tolerance. Moving along, we have the auto buy feature. I don't personally use this. So moving on to the auto sell feature, this is one of the absolute greatest things about Trojan bots and it will change your life and your gains, trust me. So let's click into this and this is what it brings up. So I've only got one order set here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this is turned on and then you will add order. So let's just say, for example, it even gives you examples here. If you wanna have your target for your take profit be 100% and then on the right side here, 50%, which just means you're taking out your initial profit. So if you invest one soul, you double that, you go 100%, you have two soul, it will automatically trigger a sell order to get your money out for you. You don't have to be there, you don't have to do anything, which is really, really awesome. Or if you want to do 200% uh, at, let's say, for the amount to take out, let's just take out 20% there just because we want to leave a bit in for the moon bag. Then once your TP, uh, once your target price is at 200%, um, then it will withdraw 20% of that for you and sell it for you, which is really, really nice. And uh, again, this is why I do think Trojan 
is better than Magnum just for the auto sell feature alone. So let's go ahead and go back and see what is next confirmed trades. Very important, if this is turned off, if you're in your sell settings here and you just click on 50%, it'll just do it. It won't confirm. Uh, like if you're just wanting to click on it just so you can guarantee that when you want to click sell, you are doing 50% and not 100%. Uh, it'll just start selling it for you right away. So I like having this on. Technically, it takes a tad bit of extra time away from selling, but I don't think that's that big of a deal for me. P&L values, super important. I want to see how much money I'm making or how much money I'm losing to kind of help me know if I want to sell it or hold it for a little longer. So I would always recommend that this stays on. Chart previews, this depends. My Telegram is never really full screen. So if chart previews is turned on, the, the chart that it shows takes away from my profit and loss. So it's harder to really quickly tell from a glance how well I'm doing in the trade. So I have this turned off. You can easily have this turned on if you like to. Uh, wallets, self-explanatory, make sure you set up your wallet and then send some salt into it so you can start trading. And that is all of the settings that I use. Heading back to the main menu, make sure you click on copy trade. I just don't wanna show off all of the wallets that I'm currently copy trading. You'll click copy trade and then you will click plus new and then this menu will be brought up. So the tag, this is just the name of the wallet that you wanna call it. So if it's like the goat, then you can just put goat in here. So let's just put the goat, not goat R, the goat and then it will tag it as GOAT, and then the wallet, this is where you will actually put in your address. This isn't a real address, it'll probably say error. To quickly clarify, this is where you will input the Solana wallet of the person you're trying to copy trade. By percent, super important. If you don't change this, then when a trade happens and you copy it, it will copy it with your entire wallet. So if you have five soul in your wallet and you're copy trading a new person, but you have not changed the buy percentage, it'll YOLO five soul into that trade. You do not want to do that. So let's click this. You can change it to be a percentage. I like rocking with actual soul. Uh, my risk tolerance puts me at doing 0.4 off the rip for brand new accounts, maybe 0.3 if I'm not super feeling them, but 0.4 is pretty solid as that helps get those gains up higher and higher. Copy sells, I personally leave this on. Sometimes I do like to sell before they do, but this is also a good uh, safety mechanic here that if I'm not around or if I'm not selling when I should be selling, they're doing it for me, which is always very helpful. My buy gas and sell gas, as you saw earlier, is always set to 0.01. That is my risk tolerance. You can change yours if you'd like and definitely mess around with that. And my slippage, again, based on the wallets that I'm copying and the coins they're getting into, I tend to have this go from 25 to so far 40 has been my highest slippage. I know that's really high, but otherwise I get slippage exceeded and that's really annoying when I get that. So I just up it by five whenever I see that uh, transaction happen and, and it fails and it says slippage exceeded. If it's at 25, I will up that to 30 and then if it happens again, I'll up that to 35. I realize that that's a lot of risk, but again, I've gone from one soul to 10 soul doing this already with those kinds of risks. So I am happy to take that. And yes, I have withdrawn profits, do not worry. Um, right here, you wanna make sure you click auto sell on if you've set up those auto sell take profits that we did earlier. This will make sure it actually does it. And then once you're done, you will just click the add button here and you are good to go. So that is everything there is to know about the Trojan bot. Make sure you jump on this because again, they have confirmed an airdrop is coming for their brand new token. And you want to make sure you are getting as much soul volume traded as possible through this bot in your means. Don't be going crazy or anything like that. Trade to your risk, trade to your wallet and try to farm up as much volume as possible for whenever this airdrop happens. And hopefully you can bag $1,000, $10,000, or even more doing that. So again, click that top link in the description, get into Trojan Bot and have some fun copy trading and uh, comment down if you've done well. And other than that, I will talk to you all later in my next video. Enjoy trading.